I'm glad and I have such an honor today to present to you one of the oldest archaeological monuments in all Africa and in my country, Tunisia. Those monuments are exactly located in my hometown, Kasran. The governorate includes more than one Roman capital, which is ensured the governorate of Roman archaeological sites. The first and only archaeological site in Tunisia with kinetic lighting and integrated gate system. With a great pleasure, I tell you that the document that was submitted by the Ministry of Culture was officially accepted in 15 April 2021. In UNESCO, which approves Speedless candidacy to be an archaeological site protected by UNESCO. I wish that final acceptance becomes real as soon as possible. And by the way, I want to say that this video is a request from me to UNESCO to realize the dream and accept the document. We are now in front of the Forum Square, which is the ancient city center. The square is wide and the view straight out is indescribable. This square leads to the capital. Here we found a carved and engraved rock, and the writing on it is still intact. The capital is an amazingly homogeneous, symmetrical on it building that reflects the Roman architectural style. The capital worship center was built on a podium separated by arcades. We noticed that there are no runways in the middle building and entries from the two adjacent temples. The capital consists of three temples, the temple of Jupiter, the god of sky and thunder, the temple of Juno, the goddess of marriage, childbirth and the moon, finally the temple of Minerva, the goddess of wisdom and reason. Going through this corridor, I noticed that there was another building under the capital floor. Jupiter, the king of gods, the god of sky and thunder. His primary sacred animal is the eagle. His sacred tree was the oak. He was a divine witness of the others. The sacred trust in which justice and good government depend. Jupiter was the fount of the outspace open which the relationship of the city, the god Restus. He personified the divine authority of Rome's highest offices, internal organization and external relations. Jupiter and his brothers divided the universe into three parts, Neptune obtaining the sea, Pluto the underworld and Jupiter the heavens. This is how Jupiter becomes the king of gods. Jupiter was the central guardian of the state with Juno and Minerva. Minerva She was the virgin goddess of intelligence, inspiration, art, philosophy, craftsmanship, 
poetry, music, wisdom, medicine, commerce. From her position in the heavens, she oversaw all things that required for thought and calculations. Minerva is commonly depicted as tall with an athletic and muscular bird. She was also seen as a military figure, as well as wearing an armor and carrying a spear. As a goddess of creation, she is often depicted with her sacred animal, an oil, usually named the oil of Minerva, as well as frequently the snake and the olive tree. Minerva is a source of wisdom, patience, strength, courage, war, protection, city-stay, law, justice, science, technology, commerce, mathematics, skills, crafts. She is the most important Roman goddess. She is highly revered, honored and respected. She has revered as a fighting and senior for many colleges and universities. She is the goddess of heroism, strategic warfare, bravery, victory, as well as the fount through which all strategic and tactical thought followed. Minerva ruled with Jupiter and Juno as a part of the divine triumvirate, known as the Capitoline Triad. A sanctuary was erected for Minerva to the right of the Greek god Jupiter, just as his wife Juno had a statue to his left. Juno Juno is an ancient Roman goddess of love, married childbirth, fertility, and the moon. She is the protector and special concealer of the state. She is often shown armed and wearing a diadem. Her symbols are crown, peacock, cuckoo, cow, lion, and pomegranate. The Queen of Heavens is a daughter of Saturn, the wife of Jupiter, and the mother of Mars, Vulcan, Belluna, and Juventus. Juno's theology is one of the most complex and disputed issues in Roman religion. In Greek mythology, she is the Roman equivalent of the Queen of Gods, Hera. Like Hera Queen, her sacred animal was the peacock. Juno, the goddess of vital force, vital energy and eternal youthfulness, she held many important epithets and she carried many different titles. She was the divine protector of the state. She was said to also watch over the woman of Rome. She was the symbol of fertility and severing over the people. As a pattern of goddess of Rome and the Roman Empire, Juno was called Regina Queen and was a member of the Capitoline of Rome. Pius Arc is one of the famous and distinctive Roman arcs in the city of Spila and it's a gift from the Emperor of Rome, Antonius Pius. And this arc is characterized by its huge size and its distinctive architectural form and also contains three doors surrounded by columns tapped by huge crowns. The Eclatin Arc it's one of the ancient arcs that was restored at the beginning of the 20th century AD and was founded in order to provide protection for the city of Spitla from the Amazigh attack on Romans. It was named after Emperor Diocletian in honor of him for facing the battles that were striking the Roman cities, especially the city of Spitla. Septimus Severus Arc the Ark of Septimus Severus is in the poorer parts of the city in the northwest of the site, and its construction appears to have been of lesser quality than the Ark of Diocletian, in which the city is famous, located to the southeast of the archaeological site, only a few traces remain of the Ark. Forum Landmark It's an archaeological landmark characterized by its rectangle design, a 17 meter long wall was built around it, and its land is furnished by stones. It was used to hold meetings between philosophers, writers, and intellectuals in order to recite poetry or exchange length dialogues and literary debates. Bellator Church The landmark consists of three naves separated by two lines of three pairs of columns. At the two ends of the middle nave, the church contains two domes, one of which was the entrance to the church, and the bellator is a part of the worship center for Catholic Christians. The 
The most important Christian complex was built inside a pagan building, as indicated by its architecture. Baptistry of Vialis Baptistry of the Second Cathedral of Spiele called Vialis on each side of this western apse. There were different rooms paved with mosaics that led to the placement of the baptistry exactly behind the priest. Moreover, the baptistry itself is one of the most beautiful places in Tunisia. It is, with the exception of some details, a copy of the baptistry of Bulater Church, baptistry of Yukandos, the first cathedral in the city of Spila. The basin was found intact in 1913. It is decorated with four clowns that support the temp. In the lower part of the basin, the monogram of Christ, a non age decorated, as it the other baptismal with a laura wreath. One reads in front of the absidial of the chapel containing the baptistry, an inscription indicated that the cistern was offered after the wish of Phyllis and Cardella. The first of the few Byzantine antiquities remaining in the archaeological site, we found three forts, which are layers in which inhabitants are hooded up and consists of a group of rooms and a wall to supply potable water. The forts can be accessed via a staircase. The Marked This place is the Marked and it consists of shops and houses. This is also the slave market and I want you to hold one minute silence for their dignity, suffering and servitude. Oil mills. The presence of oil mills is evidence that the olive oil was the most important ingredient in the Romans diet. The surrounding countryside proves idea for olive growing and it still is. The Roman baths. The Roman baths include several rooms of different degrees cut rooms, hat rooms, moderated rooms, decorated with mosaics and are distinguished by their speciousness and being without a roof. They are not just bathers, but they are also places where sportive activities are heard. The ruins of the main bathers east of the Forum are remarkable mainly for their complex and heating system in the hot rooms easily discernible now that the floors have partially collapsed. Geometric mosaic floors are still in place here as well as in the geometric palestra. Some are modern replacements but are easily distinguished. Look at the length of the bathers. It's a proof that the Romans were taller than us. Look at the real mosaic remains. I can't describe the feeling when you touch and see stones belonging to more than three civilizations Roman, Byzantine, Pagan and Fatimid. Northwest of the Great Bethus you will find four precious looking pillars of stones all that's left of the Church of St. Sivas. The Roman Theatre the Roman theater is located in the eastern center of the archaeological site. It has a prime position of a looking with Svila. This is the theater stage. Look at the massive ornate columns. I think that the column of it is worth billions of billions. But what is certain is that history has no price. I can imagine and see all the scenes and images that this place reflects for centuries, from matches, battles, celebrations, happiness, victories, encouragement, tears, injustice, cruelty and murder. I feel, see and hear everything, because the place is really almost telling us. The tunnel. From us we found a tunnel under the theatre which slaves are placed here and it was finally closed for security reasons. The bridge. The Roman bridge is located out of the archaeological site on the Spitla Valley, called Duet Spitla. It's supported by three columns carved in the rock. It extends over 50 meters. The museum. 
The museum consists of four halls that display the rare artifacts that reflect the image of life in its various aspects from prehistoric times to Islamic history. The first hall contains maps, graphic examples and evidence from the prehistoric era. It is one of the most important sources of our information about the Capsian civilization, a civilization that lived between the 8th and 7th millennium BC. And its name is derived from the name of Gafsa in southern Tunisia. The second hall is dedicated to carvings and statues, including large, small and busts, and they are carved on marble and alabaster. The very rare Gribiria statue was stolen in 2006 from the museum, along with a number of other very valuable antiques, some of which date back to more than 20 centuries. The third hall contains two paintings that use it to decorate some private houses.